Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And what we've got on the menu is potentially absorbing league action. It's Porto up against Benfica. Thanks Derek as always, this should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium, we've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Well, here's the starting 11 for Porto. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two, but for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills. Well, here's the initial 11 for Benfica. Nicolas Otamendi starts with Jan Vertonghen at the back. Joao Mario plays with Julian Weigel in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And the match is underway. A really sumptuous ball. Grimaldo. Rafa here. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Grimaldo. Very comfortable when in possession. Crossed into the penalty area. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. João Mario! And there it is! The opening goal! The ideal way to start! Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. One nil then. Luis Diaz. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Well, possibilities in the center. Good efforts here. Well, going for power from there, but not worrying the goalkeeper in the slightest. Spot on with that tackle. Not advantage with them. A chopping challenge. And the referee has got to have a big think about it. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge.
Well, clattered away. Otavio. Crossing possibilities. Able to deal with the threat. Well, the flag has gone up. It was really close. Just a matter of thumping it away. Well, they can keep possession now. Darwin Nunez. It's with Weigel. Oh, that's a really good run. And this is Weigel. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Who can he pick out? It might be... Defensive excellence there! Mateo Uribe. The ball with Otavio. He has time to play it over. And the cross smuggled away. Well, being pressed here. Well, as you can see, Benfica haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, have they? But they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Getting forward. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Darwin Nunez. Uh, what can they produce on the flank? Fine cross into the middle. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. So, 2-0 now. Well, totalling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Sergio Oliveira. Fruitful looking attack. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And I think it's fair to say he's had happier days in front of goal, Stuart. Yeah, he struggled to get on the ball in dangerous areas. You can argue that the service hasn't been good enough, but I don't think his movement has been dynamic as it normally is. He certainly needs to improve here. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway.
Nunez. Grimaldo with it. Not showing good patience. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Pepe. Uribe. Otavio. And Uribe. Can they create something from here? The cross is on. Oliveira. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Taremi. Oliveira. Gives it a go. Just made sure nothing came of that. Breaking at pace. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Well, an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Well, there you have it. Porto have had so much of the ball, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker, play forward earlier and show more energy. Otherwise, they won't get back into this one. Well, the ball lost here. Julian Weigel. Grimaldo. This is looking threatening. A foul, but advantage played. And possibilities here. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Mbemba. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Taremi, real chance. And there is the goal. Wow, that changes the equation. And they have the momentum now. Well, here it is again, and you have to say the 1-2 completely opens up the defensive structure. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So a personnel change then. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1, the current state of affairs. Rafa. Lazaro. Went in strongly, decisively. Oh, moving it nicely. Body in the way. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Substitution time it is. Ten minutes to go. Luis Diaz. Mehdi Karami. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Well, knocked on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well.
Otavio. Well, the keeper wanted to take it cleanly and did. Won it back. Takes the shot. And the ball is loose. Well, mopping up defensively. Grujic. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. On and on he goes. Rafa. And still looking for space. But he knew he had to get to... Oh, that's a penalty! And at a crucial phase in the game. And this could finish it off. And the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he certainly played his part in the win today, both with his penalty and general play. I thought he was a constant threat throughout the game.